This video is for Chapter 7, Section 7.3, Simulations in Statistics. We'll use spinners, a 1 to 4 and a 1 to 6, to generate random numbers and do some simulation processes. In number 1, the scenario is there's a brand of yogurt and the covers have the letter A, B, C, or D on the inside. If you collect one of each type of cover, you get a free yogurt. If you assume that those letters are equally likely of being selected, how many yogurts might you pick or have to buy on average to get one of each type? So pause and make a guess about this. How many yogurts would you need? Then in number one, rather than buy yogurts, we're going to do an experiment, a simulation. So. We'll use our 1 to 4 spinner, 1A, 2B, 3C, and 4D, and we'll use this to spin and model buying yogurt. So you'll spin the spinner and record the number of times you need to get each numbers at least once. So for example, if I spun and got 1, then 4, then one again, then three, then four again, then two. Once I've hit all four numbers, I record that number. And you'll repeat that spinning to get all four numbers 20 times and record the number of spins needed. So you should have a list of 20 numbers, like six, eight, five, possibly more. Then answer some questions about your data. What is the smallest number of your spins that you needed to get for the, all four numbers, what is the greatest number of your spins that you needed to get all four numbers, and what is the average of the numbers of spins for your 20 experiments. Then, thinking about your experiments, write a sentence about the number of yogurts you might normally be expected to buy before getting all four types. In part E, we remind you that results tend to be more accurate for larger numbers of experiments. So pull your data from Part C, that's our spin data, with other students and compute the average of our answers. And you might wish to use a collection spreadsheet, for example, like the sheet, sheet linked below to this video. And so here is an example of that sheet. So all the spin numbers are here, how many spins each time and then there's uh, the sheet will compute the average, the least, and the greatest. Now in number two, we do a different type of simulation. S approximately two out of every five people have type A blood. So how many people on average will need to be randomly selected to obtain three people with type A blood? So again, pause and make a guess. Then model the situation using a 1 to 6 spinner. Of course, you can use a 1 to 5 virtual spinner as well. So cross off the number you don't want, like 6, just keep track of it, and assign two numbers to be type A blood. It really doesn't matter which ones you pick. And then record the number of spins needed to get three people with type A blood. So spin and spin and spin to get three people of type A blood. And then repeat this experiment 20 times and record those spins. So again, you'll have a long list of numbers. And then what is the average of the number of spins to get three people? We're just experimenting with statistics and thinking about simulations and how we might model thinking about statistical ideas with children. And again, you can pull your data and the spreadsheet that's linked below this video has a tab for the second question as well. I hope you have fun with Math Activity 7.3 and thinking about making statistical experiments.